Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. 10 minutes after 5 o'clock on this Tuesday morning, tracking our next rain making system that could bring about a few gusty storms. Those odds are going to be highest primarily Wednesday afternoon through about Wednesday evening. So pretty quick time frame overall up until then, mainly dry skies, the outside chance of a shower. And we do trend drier heading toward Thursday and Friday and Saturday for that matter. Although temperatures will be on the seasonable to seasonably cool end, so middle and upper 50s primarily. Our risk for severe weather, if you were watching yesterday, we talked about a marginal risk that's been expanded just a little bit to a slight risk. That's a level two out of five as opposed to one out of five. So really kind of doubling down on the threat for some damaging wind gusts and a couple of rotating storms that could produce a brief spin up tornado. The best chance of that really is going to be along our eastern facing shores as we find more of those convective elements close to the water. The onshore breeze flow actually in the wintertime uh, can have a bearing on severe weather when it comes through like this. So all in all, we're going to be watching the radar closely as you should be too with your first alert weather app. Gusty winds in general outside of anything severe tomorrow. Some torrential downpours and even a little bit of lightning a possibility. We won't, we won't even rule out some small hail in some of those stronger clusters, but let's time it out for you now. Uh, dry skies for today. A few coastal showers possible ahead of the main line, which is time to get here around 2, 3 o'clock to the lower Cape Fear. Maybe even earlier afternoon for uh, spots along the I-95 corridor. But notice these pockets, uh, just that isolated pockets of moderate to heavy downpours. Uh, continuing to sweep through as we head through your Wednesday evening. I'd say after about midnight, one o'clock, the worst of this is done. In fact, a lot of the rain showers likely to be wrapping up, setting us up for a nice dry and mainly sunny Thursday. Sands a few wispy clouds here and there. Notice the snow flurries well off to the north. That's where they're going to stay despite our drop in temperatures. Helpful rainfall out of this regardless. So as we take you through Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, those contours spread to the east. We're still looking at about a half inch to maybe an inch plus in some of those select locations, doing a big part in helping to negate some of those uh, rainfall deficits that we've developed, not just uh, for the month of January, but that we've taken over from 2022. So seasonable middle and upper 50s today, brisk breezes. And those winds picking up a little bit as we head through the overnight. In fact, likely to hit our overnight lows on the early side as those breezes shift to the southeast. It's just downright blustery outside of any showers and storms. And our mildest day in the next several with temps up around 70 degrees. Here's downtown Wilmington, courtesy our David and Associates First Alert Skycam. It is cold. It's in the mid 30s. We've got clear skies, though, so I don't expect anything really to slow you down as far as your commute is concerned. Maybe some frosty windshields. We want to let the car warm up. Case in point, 12, 1 o'clock, winds start to shift to the south, and then we'll see gradually rising temperatures, likely to the, in some cases, upper 40s or even lower to mid 50s if you're along the coast, ahead of our upper 60s and lower 70s. And you see the next frontal boundary taking shape well to the northwest. That will plunge through and have a big impact on temps, mainly for Thursday and even parts of Friday. Check that out. Temps really bottoming out, at least in the mid 50s, some lower 30s and even a few upper 20s is going to be possible just in time for weeks and two bill. Uh, but all in all, uh, a little closer to average than we have been for what has been most of the month of January. Back to you. All right, Gabe, thank you. I